Hey there everyone, today I want to show you how to get this upside down French braid sock bun. And instead of using a sock, I actually used a rolled up leg warmer because it was thicker than a sock and then that way I didn't have to cut up any of my socks either. So the thickness of the sock made it so that my bun was a little bit bigger than it would be with something thinner. You could also use one of those hair donuts that you can buy at Claire's. I have one of them, but they're at my other house in Victoria, so I don't have it with me today. So this was a good alternative. But if you do decide to purchase one of those hair donuts, you can get them at Claire's for like five or six dollars. So they are pretty inexpensive if you decide to get one of those instead. First, make sure to brush your hair really well. I'm just sectioning off the top half of my hair because it's a good way to make sure that I braid just to about halfway up my head. Then I flip my hair over and start French braiding upside down. Once I've added all of the hair to the braid, I secure it with an elastic while my head is still upside down and then I take down the hair that I sectioned off and bring it all together into a high ponytail at the top of my head. Then I take my bun making tool, in this case a rolled up leg warmer, and place it in the middle of my ponytail and thread the hair through. Then I distribute the hair around the sock and secure it with an elastic. The remaining pieces I sweep around the bun and secure with pins into place. You could also braid the remaining hair if you wish, but I like how this way looks a little bit messy. As you can see, because my hair is layered, it takes quite a lot of bobby pins to make sure the extra hair doesn't stick out. There's another way to roll up the bun into the sock, which makes your bun look a lot fuller, but I find that method takes a lot more time to make it roll correctly without my layers falling out and having to start over. However, if I was doing this for a special event, I would probably take the time to do it the harder way. And that's all there really is to this look. The French braiding is the only difficult part, but with practice this can be worn as a way to switch up your everyday hairstyle, or you can add some hair accessories to dress it up for a special event. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to like this video if you liked the hairstyle. And in the comments below, let me know what variations of the sock bun that you have tried, and that way I can get some new ideas of how to switch up this look a little bit, and other people can benefit as well. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for new videos every week and I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone!